Hey everyone, how are you? In this video, we are going to cover the concept of chat conversation history and we are going to create a simple chat bot using Gemini and Python. We are going to have a user who will be us, who will send a message, then the system or the bot is going to respond, then again we can send the message as a user and then again the system or the bot is going to respond. So let us get started and let us see the chat demo.py file in which we are going to do our coding. So first of all, let's import Gen AI from Google. So we can say from Google import Gen AI. Now let's create a client. Let's create a Gen AI client. So we can say client is equal to Gen AI dot client. Print a simple message chat starts here dot dot dot. All right. Let's initially take an input from the user. So let us say user input is going to be input. And this is what a user will say. So whatever the message will be entered will be the user input. And then we are going to make a request to Gemini API using the Gen AI client and we are going to get the response. So we are having a user input and now if I just say while user input, let us say while user input is not equal to end chat. <clears throat> so let's actually have a better message that chat starts here, type end chat to close, right? So while the user input is not end chat, the chat is going to continue and now we are going to make a request. So let's make a request and let's call this request as system output. This will be equal to client dot models dot generate content. We are going to generate some content based on the user input. So we can say the contents is going to be whatever is the user input and we are going to have a model. So let us say the model we are going to use is a Gemini 2.5 flash light. Let's use the light version and let us also add a configuration. So we can say config is equal to types. We need to actually import types here. So we can say from Google dot Gen AI, we need to import something called as types. So we are going to have the class generate content config within the type. So we can say config is equal to types dot generate content config. And let's give a simple system instruction. So we can say system underscore instructions is equal to answer in one line within 50 characters. All right. Now, once this is done, we can say print and let's give a name to our chatbot. Let's name this as stat bot. All right. And whatever is the output we receive, we are going to say system output dot text. So this is what the stat bot is replying, right? So this is going to be system output, not system out. So system output dot text. And then again, we need to take a new input from the user. Now it's the turn of the user to reply. So we can say user input is now going to be updated. And this will be again equal to input. I can copy it from here input, the user input, right? So again, the while loop will continue till the user doesn't enter something called as end chat. Now we can have a lot of different robust methods of ending the chat. But for now, let us keep it simple. Till the user input is not end chat, this chat is going to continue. Now this is a very simple chat application, but it has a lot of flaws. It doesn't have something called as chat conversation history. And I'm going to tell you how it will be implemented. But let's actually run this simple one. So Python chat demo dot py. And now this is going to ask us the user input. So basically you will see it looks like a chat system chat starts here type end chat to close so now if i say hi a simple hi the chat bot has replied hello and now you will see again it is asking for a user input i can say how are you it will reply something i'm a language model i don't have feelings my name is stat learn what's your name hit enter and it will reply that i am a large language model trained by google now here is an interesting thing I already told this model, my name is StatLearn, right? Now, if I ask the model, what's my name? It will not be able to tell. I cannot know your name. And the reason is every request which we are making to the model is an independent request. We are just giving the model as a content, the next user input. So when I say the user input is what's my name, the model doesn't have the previous input. It doesn't have a chat history. And that is why it doesn't recognize our name. We are going to fix this issue by a very simple logic. First of all, let me end the chat here. So I can say end chat and it's done. Clear the console. Let me just tell you a way. How can you implement something like chat history? Now there are a lot of different ways you can do it. I will tell you a very simple way. Let's create a list. Let's call that list as chat, which is equal to empty as of now. Now, the moment you are getting a user input and you are entering in the while loop before actually making a request, let's store this user input somewhere. So we are going to store this in the chat chat dot append and we can say let's append the user input and once you get the response you can say chat dot append system 
output dot text all right and as a content we don't need to send the user input we should actually send the whole chat history as a list so we can say chat so now since we are just appending all the result the user input and the system output the system is going to remember our conversation but let's make it a bit robust instead of just appending the user input and system output directly we can store the reference as well that this is a user input and this is a system output so one of the way i can do it is i can say user colon and then plus user input so now the model will read this data and it will understand that this particular data is coming from the user and this particular data is going to come from the system because i will say chat dot append system or better i can say that bot colon plus whatever is the output so now our chat list is going to have our user input the system output the user input will be appended with a user text the system output is going to be appended with a chat bot text now if i just run the code the model is going to remember our conversation so i can say python space chat demo hit enter and now if i say hi it will say maybe hello and i can again say how are you and it might say something i'm a program so i don't have feelings my name is statlearn and it will reply hello statlearn okay what's my name and now we are going to get the name hello statlearn right of course the response is not too good we can just tweak our code to get it better but the main thing to understand is the bot now understand and remembers the conversation history right now this is a good chatbot compared to the previous one let me show you one functionality which is implemented in the google gen ai module or the library which is implementing this chat functionality so we don't need to worry about adding our own logic for the chat in a very simple words instead we can actually create a multi turn conversation or a chatbot with a provided sdk by google so let me do one thing let me actually copy this code chat demo.py so let me create a copy of this and let's call this as and let me rename this and let's call this as chat main dot py all right now i can get rid of this chat list as of now what we have is a simple client the gen ai client and a simple message and now we are making a request to the user to enter some data instead of using this client directly there is a functionality called as client dot chats dot create let's create a chat session now internally this is going to use the generate content only so we have this generate content method internally this is also going to use the generate content but this is going to return us a chat conversation history kind of object which can make a request to the gemini ai get the response and remember the chat history we just need to pass the model so we can say model we are going to use is let us say gemini dash 2.5 dash flash and let's assign this in a variable called as chat so now our chat is actually equal to client dot chats dot create this so we can make use of this chat variable to make a request to the gemini ai in a very simple way we can say we got a user input and now let's get a u output so we can say response is equal to chat dot send message we want to send a message and i can say the message is user input right and now we can simply say print chatbot chatbot's reply is nothing but response dot text simple okay and now let me actually put this in a while loop so i can say while the user input is not equal to end chat this is going to continue and first of all let's have this user input outside this loop so initially we get a user input and then after giving the response we can again get a new user input but here you will see we don't need to maintain that chat variable in which we just need to enter our chat history right the client dot chats dot create has created a chat history object which is going to remember all the chats and internally it is going to use the generate content method only to make a request to the gemini ai so now we have got this user input we got the response printed the response again getting the user input and now if i just run the code let's say python space chat main dot py so it will ask us the user input again a simple message chat starts here type and chat to close i can say hi how are you let's wait for a response hello i'm doing great thank you for asking i'm ready to assist you how are you doing today i am doing good my name is statlone and i love coding let's wait for the response so the response we are about to get is that's wonderful to hear stat learn it's really great to virtually meet you it sounds like a name that perfectly combines statistics and machine learning two very cool pow powerful areas in the coding world what kind of coding do you enjoy and blah 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 now if i say what do you know about me it is definitely going to answer 
and let's wait for the response based on our brief conversation your name is statlon you love coding you are doing good today everything it remembers right that's all the information i have i don't retain any personal details or history beyond our current chat session so this is like a chat session going on and it is all happening because this library has implemented this feature in its sdk and the feature is using the client we can have a chat session we can create a chat session and simply we can implement this functionality now there is one more feature which i will tell you let us say if i end the chat let's end the chat here right clear the console let us say i want to know what are the history of messages which was ex which was exchanged i don't want to print the message here let's not print the message here let's just do one thing let's say we run a loop for message in we can say chat dot get underscore history so we can get the history of the chat and in the history i can see a few information about each of the chat which were exchanged i can see the role who sent the message so i can say the role is message dot role uh, let me use this as a f string so i can say message dot role and let me print the actual message so the actual message is going to be message dot parts of zero dot text this should be message so now i am getting all the history of messages exchanged in this chat session and i can see who sent the message using message dot role and what was the message so let me just run the code again and if i just run the code and i say hi i am stat learn reply in short going forward going forward hit enter wait for some time i cannot see the output which i am receiving because i am not printing it as of now but i can send more messages tell me something about me again i am not going to receive any output but now if i just say end chat so now you can see we are getting some output right after entering some data as a user input the output we see is coming from this loop basically chat dot get history is going to get all the history of messages exchanged between the user and the system so we have a role as user and the input was hi i am stat learn reply in short going forward that's what the input i have given now the role is model acknowledged i will be short role user tell me something about me role model you are interested in statistical learning and prefer concise communication so we can get the history of messages exchanged as well using this functionality using chat dot get history every message is going to have a role every message is going to have some more data but this is how we can get the text so this is how you can create a chatbot a very simple chatbot using gemini ai and python so guys that's it for this video if this video has helped you to understand how to create a chatbot using Gemini AI and Python, then make sure that you hit that like button. If you have any questions, then put it in the comment box. And if you have not subscribed to my channel as of now, then please do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. I want to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this one.